Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, we're gonna be making Valentine's shaker cards. If you've seen any of my other Queen & Co videos, you know that their kits are my favorite way to make shaker cards. Seriously, it's as easy as one, two, and three. I love that the foam shapes and acetate are already die cut for you. So a lot of this is literally peel and stick. First up, let me show you really quickly the new Love Letters Shaped Shaker Kit. The Love Letters Kit comes with an instruction sheet that shows the four shapes you can create with the kit. Here are the eight dies included that help you customize all four shapes. The typewriter shape has four dies to itself, plus there's a tiny extra heart that can be used with any of the shaker shapes. There are die cut foam shapes. You get three sheets and each sheet includes one of each of the four shapes. So in total, you can make 12 cards and refill packs are available. You also get one die cut acetate piece for each foam shape. There's also a three by four sentiment stamp set too. That's everything that comes in the kit, so I decided to purchase the Happy Hearts topping set to go along with it, but you could totally use your own shaker goodies if you prefer. I also decided to buy the Sending Support Mat Stack, which is a 6x6 pattern paper pad that goes perfectly with those Happy Hearts toppings. And I bought the Sending Support Solids Pad too. Again, you could use your own pattern paper and cardstock, but I love having the option of coordinating the pattern paper, cardstock, and toppings so easily on each card. Now I'm going to share how easy it is to use each of these shapes to create cards. We're going to start with the most complicated shape, which is the typewriter, both because it's my absolute favorite and it's really the only one where you need to know how to put the various pieces together. The rest of them are really just essentially one piece each. First, I'm going to die cut all the pieces I'll need to create the typewriter and customize my shaker. So I have small pieces from the solids mat stack cut out for the typewriter and tiny heart. I'm using silver for the metal piece that threads the paper, white cardstock for the paper itself, and black for the rubber roller. For the foam, pop out the typewriter piece, then pop out the inner piece. We're going to use the frame to create the shaker. To create pink typewriter keys, I'm adding tape runner to the back of the typewriter die cut and then matting it on top of some pink paper from the solids pad and then simply cutting around the edge. The little paper die cut only cuts the frame of the paper, and I want the interior of that part of the shaker to be white. So I'm cutting a rectangle of white cardstock and then making sure it will fit inside the shaker shape. I'm using some Queen & Co foundations dies to build the background of these cards, such as this stitched banner die, which I cut out of the solids pad. I layered a four by five and a half piece of pattern paper over a coordinating solid, and then I'm using tape runner to lay the banner on top of that. To stamp a sentiment on a small die cut flag, I place the die cut flag into the opening from the cardstock in my MISTI, and then line the sentiment stamp up on top. When little stamps like that stick to my fingers, I find the tips of scissors to be helpful in lining them up without sticking to them. Then I close the MISTI to pick up the stamp, Replace the die cut back into the open die cut area, ink up the stamp, and close the misty door once again to stamp it. To put the typewriter together, you need to first adhere the metal piece that threads the paper. Then peel off the back protective layer of the foam shape and lay that on top with the base of that metal piece in the back touching the keyboard portion of the typewriter. Next, adhere the paper background piece that we cut out ourselves to fit inside the paper area to make the whole paper look white, and add your shaker goodies in the open area of the foam. Then peel off the top protective layer of the double-sided adhesive foam. Grab the acetate shape that matches and lay it down on top. I usually try to start with an easy straight area, then just place down the rest because you can't really peel it up once it's stuck down, so just go for it. To decorate or customize the shaker, adhere the paper stitched border on top of the shaker, and then do the same for the keyboard we die cut as well. 
Next, adhere that roller we die cut out of black cardstock, and I decided to place the little heart on top of the shaker. All that's left is to pop up the sentiment banner which says, you're my type, which is perfect for Valentine's or anytime you wanna send a loved one or a bestie a cute card. Now let's move on to a really simple shape, the scalloped heart shaker. Pop the larger heart out of the foam sheet and pop the center out of the foam frame. I've cut a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square out of pattern paper from the mat stack and created a top folding square four and a quarter by four and a quarter card base. Using tape runner, I adhered the pattern paper to the card base. I used Queen & Co Foundations dies to cut a scalloped circle and a stitched circle out of white and then pink to layer those on top of each other and here, adhere them down to the pattern paper background. For the shaker, peel off the foam backing and place it down on the pink circle. This is the die that matches the foam shape. You can see it cuts out that pretty doily edge heart and a pink heart in the center. So place tape runner on the back of the pink heart center and place it inside the shaker shape. You can skip this step if you want the inner heart to be the same color as your background, but I love having the shape a different color than that background. I filled my shaker with a mix of pink, blue, purple, and white heart shakers. Then make sure you have the right acetate piece that matches this heart's shape. Peel off the top protective layer of the foam and lay the acetate right on top of the exposed foam adhesive. Next, add tape runner or liquid glue to the back of the heart shape that we die cut and lay that on top of the shaker, making sure to line it up so it covers all of the white foam. I stamped a sentiment on a piece of white cardstock I had cut the scalloped circle from and then trimmed it down into a thin sentiment strip. I placed a thinly cut piece of foam adhesive behind the sentiment strip and then popped it up onto the heart shaker. For something a little bit different, I grabbed the We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and used the half inch corner punch to round all four corners of the card. I love that this tool is strong enough to cut through two layers of 110 pound cardstock plus the pattern paper layer on top. And the rounded corners are fun and unique looking since I really don't do that very often these days on cards. The next card also features a single die to create the envelope shaped shaker. I used two Queen & Co Foundations dies to cut two layerable stitched rectangles from the pattern paper, which I adhered with tape runner on top of each other and then on top of an A2 horizontal white cardstock panel. I die cut the envelope out of white cardstock and the mini heart out of the pink paper from the solids pack. To make the shaker, pop the rectangle shape from the double-sided foam sheet. Then, Pop the inside of that rectangle out. Peel the backing off of the double-sided foam shaker frame and lay it down on pattern paper. I adhered the four die-cut inner pieces of white cardstock inside the shaker. If I wanted a fully white inside, I could have just cut my own rectangle shape small enough to fit inside the frame like we did with the typewriter paper. But I thought I would try this and I kind of like the little blue borders for a different look. I added blue, yellow, and white hearts inside the shaker to coordinate with the colors of the card. Then peel off that top protective layer of the foam. I accidentally ripped the paper of mine a little bit, which is not a big deal. Just make sure that you get all those little bits of paper off to expose all of the adhesive so that when you place your acetate down, it sticks around all the sides trapping the shaker goodies inside. Next, place tape runner or liquid glue on the envelope die cut and adhere it right on top of the shaker to create the envelope. Super, super simple. I added the small pink die cut heart to the flap of the envelope to look like a little wax seal. For the sentiment, I used that same banner die from Queen & Co Foundations dies and used the same technique of placing the die cut banner inside the cutout piece of cardstock to line the stamp right on top and then stamp it with black ink. 
I placed a piece of foam tape that I first checked to make sure would fit behind my banner right above the shaker and then just placed the banner on top of that. Such a simple, sweet little card, but I love the colors and the envelope shaker is too cute. The last shape in the kit is the heart with an arrow going through it, which is another one die shaker shape. So very simple to create. For this card, I cut a piece of pattern paper to be four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm adhering it to an A2 white top folding card base. I used some of the Queen & Co Foundations dies to cut a couple of other pieces of pattern paper into these diagonal shapes, and I'm adhering those to the background. Pop the heart, which is the smaller of the two hearts, out of the double-sided foam sheets, then pop the center of the shape out. I promise in the next shaker video, I'll share some ways to use these center pieces. Peel off the back layer of the foam shape and place it down on the background. The inner piece of cardstock from the heart with arrow die is in two pieces above and below the arrow. So put tape runner on the back and place the top one at the top and the bottom one at the bottom and the arrow is going to cover up that line in the center. I added a mixture of happy heart toppings inside the center of the heart frame. You can add a little bit of shakers or a lot, just make sure that they are flat and not sticking up above the lip of the foam. Then peel off the top protective layer of the foam and lay the matching acetate on top of the shaker to trap the goodies inside. Then place tape runner or liquid adhesive behind the die cut piece with the arrow and the heart and place it on top of the shaker to cover up that white foam. I stamped the sentiment on a pink die cut flag and then popped it up on foam adhesive and placed it on the diagonal piece of yellow pattern paper. So here are all four shaker cards that, like I said, are so easy to put together. It is basically peel and stick. If you've ever tried a Queen & Company kit like this, you know what I'm talking about and that you kind of get spoiled with making shakers only this way. If you want to see more shaker card ideas, I have an entire playlist over here. If you want to see more new card making products and techniques, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I have a new video available. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.